Because babies can get sick from incorrectly prepared formulas, learning the correct way to prepare it is a key skill for any new parent. There are three basic kinds of formula. This video will show you how to safely prepare the most difficult one, which is powdered infant formula. Remember, powdered infant formula should not be given to babies younger than two months of age because newborn babies are still developing their immune system. So the safest formula for them is ready to feed or liquid concentrate. First, wash your hands using soap and hot water. Then, you need to clean and sterilize all utensils, containers, digital food thermometers, and counters. To sterilize baby feeding equipment, first wash items in hot soapy water and rinse with hot water. Then, boil items in an uncovered pot of deep water for two minutes. Remove items from the pot and leave to air dry. Once you have all your sterilized tools, you can prepare the formula. You may want to make formula for the day all at once to save time. Formula can be stored in a sterile container for up to 24 hours on the top shelf of the fridge. Never freeze extra formula. It will become grainy and unusable. The water you use to prepare the formula also needs to be sterile. To do this, bring a pot of water to a boil and keep it at a rolling boil for two minutes. Make sure the water you are using does not cool below 70 degrees Celsius so it's hot enough to kill any bacteria in the powder. Check this by using a sterilized digital thermometer. Check the formula packaging for dents and damage. If it is expired, bloated, or damaged, throw it out. Carefully read and follow the manufacturer's instructions to make the formula. In a sterile container, measure and add the water, and then the powder. Always use the scoop supplied with the formula and level it off using a sterilized knife. Stir well with a sterilized fork so there are no lumps. Pour the prepared formula into your sterilized feeding equipment. If you intend to feed the formula immediately, make sure it is cooled first. The formula should be warm, but not hot. Test the temperature of the formula on your wrist before feeding your baby. It should feel the same temperature or slightly cooler than your skin. If you're feeding your baby with formula you made earlier, you will need to warm it up. To warm the formula, place the bottle in warm water for about 15 minutes. Never use a microwave to warm a bottle. It can create hot spots that can scald your baby's mouth. Any formula left over in the bottle after feeding must be thrown out. Harmful bacteria can develop even after a short while. Being a new parent can be overwhelming. Peel Public Health is here to help you. Visit us online or in person for support, information, and more helpful resources like this, including step-by-step -step instructions for all types of safe formula preparation.